We love our clear-thinking, charismatic brethren. We agree on the essentials. We are in fellowship. However, this is a movement that has a lot of cleaning up to do. Andrew Strum of New Zealand, a charismatic himself. All you need to do is look on YouTube and you'll see, uh, there's a problem out there. So why is the charismatic movement giving itself over to manifestations that seem the opposite of sobriety and the opposite of holiness? In fact, they look more like outright paganism. This is Rick Joyner's Morningstar Church, and of course, this is the other major center of this anointing in North America. Can anybody please tell me the difference between this and outright paganism? As we can see, a lot of this stuff has a real new age feel to it. In fact, when you go to John Crowder's website, he openly advertises his mystical schools, where people can learn to operate in trances, raptures, ecstatic prayer, mysticism, spirit travel, and every other new age sounding thing you can imagine. And yet Christian leaders all over the world are promoting these ministries. People are being deceived into believing in guided visualization, astral travel, centering prayer, stigmata, and all kinds of New Age practices. Of course, they call them different names, like contemplative prayer and spirit travel, to hide the fact of how totally New Age they are. This is Lucy Rail, who now has a home in the charismatic movement simply because of these bizarre signs and wonders. And this is Joshua Mills, who specializes in glittering dust appearing, as well as out of body spirit travel and other things. All over my body, people will travel hundreds of miles to see this stuff. And then there are the angels. Even though the Bible specifically warns us about angels of light, now everywhere we look, we see the weirdest and most bizarre accounts of so-called angels appearing. But why do they not carry the holy fear of the Lord like the angels in the Bible? This is Sid Roth's TV show, which apart from God TV is one of the biggest promoters of all these strange experiences in the church. My guest, Joshua Mills, is a legitimate sign and wonder. And this is Patricia King of Extreme Prophetic, interviewing the famous prophet Bob Jones as well as Todd Bentley. You gave me a phone call and you said, hey, I've just been soaking with Bob Jones and I've gone up into the third heaven and all that. And, and it was all new to me. I'd never even heard that kind of language before and I was so hungry for yeah. it. I hope you can see that all these different ministries and streams are really one big movement, united by this strange anointing that they started spreading everywhere in the 1990s still they spread it today and so we're left with an enormous worldwide movement in the church that is absolutely loaded with spiritual forces and practices and experiences that seem to come straight out of Eastern mysticism and they're busy telling us not to discern but to turn off our mind not only that but it seems very clear that it's targeting the youth is this movement dangerous? Clearly we have to say yes, and hopefully through this documentary you can see why.